Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is my March wrap up. In March I've read seven books. I believe one of them was an audiobook. Yes, and one of them was a graphic novel. And let's just get into the books that I read. One of the first books I've read was The Lost Girls of Paris, which was part of the book club that uh, I'm involved in on Instagram. Its hashtag is back of the bookshelf BC. I'll link the channel below. So if you're interested, you can come and check it out and read with us. <clears throat> this is a book, uh, historical fiction, with three different points of view. Um, it's all about uh, women, female spies in uh, World War II, and it takes um, perspectives from Grace, who is in, uh, in right after the war, and then uh, Marie and Eleanor, who are talking during the war. Um, it's a great book. I love historical fiction as you probably already know, um, and this was uh, a great book as well. I loved the dynamic between some of the characters. I loved how they uh, their stories came about. There was, and a lot of people I think in the book club were saying that there was one character that we really wanted to know a lot more about that we didn't get to know too much about it all and I think that's the only downfall of this book. Um, of course there's romance, there's um, danger, and it's just a really really good book. I gave four out of five stars and I think that it would be a good read if you like historical fiction. Then I listened to the audiobook for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So this one, I believe I started in February and finished in March, but it was my first time listening to all the Harry Potter audiobooks, and of course, can't tell you that I didn't like this series because of course I did, and I'm a Harry Potter fanatic, so it was wonderful. Then I also read, um, Shadow of Magic by V.E. Schwab, The Steel Prince. It's her graphic novel about uh, Prince, Prince Maxim. And as you can see, it was a quick read. It was the, the, <clears throat> the graphic novel, the artistry is awesome. I loved it. Um, the story was a little short, it fell a little short for me. Um, I don't know what I was expecting from it, but I think I was expecting a little more background. Um, but I think it's the first one. I think there's more of them coming out, so we will have to see. And then I participated in the Spring Into Reading-a-thon. Um, it was for one of the weeks in March. I think it ended on the Friday was the live show the 22nd, so it ended the Sunday of that week, 24th, I guess then. And so the prompts that I actually participated in was a spring break, uh, read a, a book about or with travel or vacation in it. So I read um, Wires and Nerve, which is another graphic novel. And this follows Aiko from the Lunar Chronicles and all of her friends in a new adventure and they go globe trotting. Um, so to me, that was traveling and I love it and can't wait to get to the second one that's out. And I love the Lunar Chronicles and I love the characters and I can't wait um, to get more from them. Then the next prompt was, love is in the air, read a romance or a book centered around friendship. So I chose friend request um, because if a friend is, you know, you're getting a friend request on Facebook, then that person must be a friend and it's got to do with friendships. And I'm saying that in the broad sense of the word because, okay, there was a friendship there, but it's been so many years that there's no friendship there at the moment. Um, 
So this is a thriller about um, a girl who receives a friend request from a girl that was she was friends with in high school. And unfortunately, that girl is dead. So she accepts the friend request and it's all about her trying to find out who set up this account, if the girl's really dead, and it all revolves around her high school reunion and things that are going on and them trying to find out uh, what actually happened to uh, the girl that's friend requesting. It's an okay book. Wasn't one of my favorites, but it was intriguing. Uh, I did not see the end coming. So that's a good thing. Always a plus. But it was okay. It was good. Then the next prompt was New Growth. Read a book with green on the cover. And that was Lethal White. And actually, I listened to the audiobook on this one while reading along. And it was it was good. I, I like um, the uh, Cameron Strike novels. I think this one wasn't very good for me because I haven't read the, the last three in, or in such a long time, especially the third one. It has been a while because usually they're out every year and with every year I can get back into them and stuff like that. The story was good. It was just, I was so disconnected from them from not really remembering what happened because it does make references to uh, the third book, which was Silkworm. And so it was a little, I would have enjoyed it much more had I just finished or recently finished the uh, Silkworm. But it was still a very good story. I love the characters. So I wouldn't say not to read it. It's just maybe if you've read Silkworm right before it, because there was such a gap between it. Um, but still, very good book. The last prompt of the readathon that I did was Woman's March. Read the group read or read a book with a strong female lead. I read the group book, which was How to Hang a Witch. I took this book out of the library, so I'll put a picture of it here. This book was a quick read for me, and it was all about um, witches in Salem and... Um, what was happening back then and it was just a really quick good read I think I gave it four out of five stars I was intrigued and wanted to keep reading it and when I finished that one I wanted to read her next one which was um which is uh, Haunting the Deep um but we got to the live show and um I wanted to talk about the book with everyone, uh, but it was a spoiler-free uh, live show, so unfortunately we didn't get to really um, dive into uh, the book as much as I kind of thought I was hoping for, but that's okay. Um, it was a very good book, and if you haven't read it and want one for a readathon, because that was a really good book for a readathon, because it did not take me, I think it took me two days to read. Uh, very quick, very easy. <clears throat> Um, the main character is, um, has people coming into her life and, and, you know, she makes some wrong decisions and she's, she's good. At, there's two boys that she likes. So it's kind of like a love triangle and she's just really bad to one of them and really good to the other, even though she, it should have been the opposite way around. Like when she was. Jackson was so nice to her and she was just so mean to him and uh, the other boy was so mean to her but she was so nice to him and it just kind of got to me a little bit because I mean you know the boy was so nice you should be nice to him but she's young and she needs to learn so that's okay as well those were all the books that I've read this month if you've read any of them, comment below. I'd love to hear what you thought of them. Um, I hope you had a really good reading month. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my contact, please press the subscribe button. And 
I will see you the next time.